his husband, he posts a disturbing video hoping that it would pop off and capitalize on bestiality enthusiasts or just fucking degenerates in general or make him a bad guy because I guess in his mind, any publicity is good publicity. At least that's the phrase that a lot of people like to toss around. Dan, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. with me. His name is Louis. And I love him so very much. Oh. It's super fucking gross to watch. At one point the dog tries to escape but it's forced back by the man. It's like something out of a fucking horror movie, really. Uh, and, like I said, these kind of people subscribe to the idea that any publicity is good publicity, which I truly believe is just a meme started on 4chan to troll delusional lunatic fucking dumbass idiots like Dan into making shitty cringy content for them to mock. Because that phrase is remarkably inaccurate. Negative publicity kills careers, and it does it all the time. Yeah, sometimes in businesses that are too big to fail, like Nestle, it doesn't really matter. The same is not true for a fucking 10,000. This channel is not small, not, not by any means, really. And this kind of shit is what kills a channel like that right from the get go. You don't grow from having a reputation as a dog fucker. That's not. And why would you even want that reputation to begin with? Dan Sullivan is the result of what happens when your dad gives you money instead of attention. You crave it elsewhere, but he doesn't have the talent to make anything else. So he does what would be shocking make out with his dog, cruise around in his father's Bentley, shitting in his diapers, pretending that he doesn't care about the hate comments he gets. Constantly. Look at the girl from a few months ago who abused her dog on camera. Her channel's fucked. Her whole career online is fucked. She was a hugely exploding channel at the time, and now she has nowhere to go. She's gonna have to get a nine to five job. In Dan's case, is the silver platter upbringing for all the knowing what a real job looks or feels like. And judging from his fucking scrawny physique, he probably doesn't even have the. Shit. background, but it's very clear that something is sexual with your dog. What's up you guys? Hi, Back to my YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, you guys. Super hard to pretend that he's extroverted and outgoing, so he overcompensates by being extremely fucking. And he has this downright pathetic intro where he starts <laughs> on a Starbucks cup and then says, oh, the right drink. It's, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> about his haters, you know, why do people hate me? I don't I laugh in the face of my haters because I get to suckle on mommy and daddy's teats of money. Truthfully, walking a mile in this dude's shoes must kind of suck just being stuck in the shadows for your entire life and never being able to break out and have a face or face. It doesn't make sense that he laughs out and totally shit his on for like making out his fucking excusable. It's this quest for internet clout that corrupts the minds of people troubled from their upbringing of being ignored, and feeling like their self-worth is pretty low. They can't find the self-esteem on their own, so they try to find it in other words like online in the form of life. And also, let me just make a quick PSA to the people that will inevitably go to his channel to dislike his videos. You think that you're some kind of justice vanguard who goes to the Slice the videos, you're not helping anyone and you're not hurting anyone. If anything, you're helping the people you're going to by just giving them more attention and more views. Even though that is ephemeral, it is still a quick boost to the channel in general. If you really want to fight against a channel that you think absolutely does not deserve to be popular online, you do that by ignoring it, not by going out of your way to find every video just to leave a dislike. So I understand that she gets a lot of hate as well, so it doesn't really surprise me that I'm getting hate too. 